trying to prepare a kind of a beauty article device. Um, it's this device. And well, of course, such a device that's often used in more or less wet environments uh, has to be completely closed and watertight. And that's uh, what they did here. Completely closed, completely watertight, and I had to really uh, saw it open with the help of this saw. And you can also see that the plastic is very, very fierce, very thick, etc. etc. How the motor works, I have to um, say, study that anyway. The interesting thing is that this device has, of course, because it uh, must be used in wet environments, completely contact um, free charge uh, charging. And that's done here with this kind of bay. And now I pick up here with that coil an old uh, ferrite ring and some windings here. I pick up the AC charge voltage and current. You can see it here. So when I take the charger out here, I will do that now. The, uh, the charger is no longer active and it's very interesting of course uh, when we are talking about resonance etc etc that this is a, a coil that is on a certain resonance. I don't know the exact frequency I, I could say find it but it's not interesting at least in this video. There is a certain frequency here. That frequency is sent out here in that bay. It's picked up here somewhere, somewhere in this uh, beauty device. And then the, uh, the battery is charged. It's a nickel uh, manganine hydride battery. Only two 0.4 volts, though um, 1.2 ampere. That's not bad. And of course, I have to study this better. How I can how I can get it working again? Anyway, the problem with such a device is, in my opinion, that it is made as a kind of disposable item. And in my opinion, that's kind of pain. I had to saw it open and of course for good reasons it was made completely watertight. So everything was glued together, kind of a massive block and well that means that such a device is in fact not repairable. And that's in my opinion kind of problem. When we look on our environment, uh, electronic devices for a certain time, of course, must be uh, made in such a way that they can be repaired in an easy way. And of course there are a lot of uh, um, ideas, possibilities to make a good watertight construction etc etc and make such a circuit such a unit device work for a very very long time and you can say push that brush here up on the on the front and then it's a kind of face brush so is this a disposable item? Yes, surely. And it, in my opinion that's not very good. Anyway, here how the circuit is made. There is that bay here. That's here. 
now I pick up the, the, the AC voltage uh, with that, that pickup coil and well there is a unit here inside that uh, device and I have to study that further where that AC is perhaps not changed could also um, be changed into DC but could also be changed into AC because here when I look at it closely we have here a kind of say coil uh, that points into the direction that perhaps uh, not DC is used here but AC. I have to study that further and it's not say important regarding the whole uh, video, this video, but anyway. Thanks for watching. This was all I pen over somewhat. And say the bad thing was that I had to saw the whole unit open and perhaps or more or less sure I cannot make it watertight again so that we can dispose this beautiful beauty brush say into the dump anyway